Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. The film is called Little Women, and one of the stars is with us, Timothy Chalamet, also the king. Maybe we'll kind of throw in a question there. Thank you. Uh, talk a little bit about growing up, your own relationship to literature. I mean, Little Women is obviously a, a, a known book for a lot of young girls. Mm -hmm. What about for a young guy? You know, I, I'm lucky that I, I, I have like the maybe one of the last generations of parents or uh, that held that line that I wasn't allowed to have a PSP or a little Nintendo Game Boy or anything in the back of cars. It was always, it was, it was a really a strong relationship to literature and uh, maybe getting into George Orwell and things like that too soon when they were above my head. But um, I, it's something I think about a lot. We maybe don't have the time. I don't, I'm not gonna waste uh, your time or anybody watching this time. But it's it's a fascinating thing that. Uh, there might be some genius out there that's not that's on their Game Boy instead of cultivating their whatever. So, um, Louise May Alcott, Little Women, I hadn't read. I know that's unusual within the American both public and private school curriculum. Um, but as soon as Greta approached me with it, I read the book, and I am grateful that I had this organic process with it, where I already loved the book and I loved the character. And it, but it didn't it didn't give me the feeling that's where I ended the production with, which is what shooting in the area gave me that these crews, men, women of all ages, were in such proximity to Luisa's life by being just in the area that this story was uh, like a root in people's uh, experiences of America and of themselves. And uh, not one that's uh, uh, blatantly optimistic or like plastic or something. It's, it's full of, uh, um, I read as Gerwig's pointed it out a lot, but that Marmy has that line, even I'm angry every day of my life. And um, we forget that's kind of in the book. So that's a longer answer to say that I have a very strong relationship to literature and, uh, and not, not in the beginning of this book, but now I do. No, it's, it's yeah. great. Take your time. I, I'm fascinated too watching your character because at different points, I change my opinion. Is he using people? Is he this? Mm. What's coming to go? There was such a deep complexity to yeah. him, but I thought in each way he enlightened the girls' lives in some capacity. I think the reverse is true as well, and I think that's the nature of being young, is you do not know who you are, and uh, it's something that a playwright, John Patrick Shanley, said to me once, when you're shopping, it's like, uh, when you're young, it's like you're shopping for your personality, and you're kind of just trying different things on, and being young is seeing other people as like a function of a mirror or something. You, you, you're reflected in people's understanding of yourself. So I think Lori's so intoxicated with these um, young women because they uh, throw themselves at life with reckless abandon in a way that he's in a kind of elite, uh, uh, congested environment. And it's one of my favorite things about the movie too, Scott, that is like, I just didn't, it's not it's one of those things that isn't scripted, but it's just palpable watching it. I love that. Uh, like regardless of gender too, the women, I would hope my, myself included in it too, that everyone's grown and clearly like physically grown at a certain point in the movie, but life is still attacked with that reckless abandon and for whatever reason today, whether it's we literally grow up too quickly because the world's falling apart and we all have to be aware of that and should be aware of that, 